Yo, what's up guys? Andy here back with another video. If you're new to the channel, I make videos about adventure and creativity. So go ahead and subscribe if you're interested in that. Today we're talking about Printful and I'm gonna go over what I think are the best and worst shirts on Printful. So I've tested a lot of these shirts and I'm just gonna go through and tell you which ones I think are good which ones aren't good. If you're not familiar with Printful, it's basically an on-demand printing service. So you can, uh, there's all kinds of stuff on here. Let's click on here. You can do like hoodies, shirts, hats, backpacks, swimming stuff, posters, leggings. Pretty much you can design and print anything and then they do all the printing and shipping and handle everything for you. I have a previous video that goes into all of that if you want to check that out. Okay, so starting with Bella and Canvas 3001 Unisex. I think this is one of the best shirts on this entire site. I highly recommend this one. Let's go ahead and open this one up. So this one is $12.95. I think some of them are $13.95 like the Heather colors. $13.55 so that's not that bad. So the price point for this one is really good. They have a good selection of colors. The fit for the shirt is really good. I've mostly used the Heather colors just because like the material um, the fit is a little better I think. So I've used some of these darker Heather colors like this one and they seem to be really good. So overall I would rate this as the number one shirt to use on this site based on like quality, fit, and price point. And something to note about these is that it says they're 100 cotton unless you use the heather colors they're like uh, about a 50 50 depending on which one you choose so i like to use those heather ones just because it's a little softer shirt um a little different style the heather style I like that so that's what i use highly recommend this one the gildan 64,000. i've ordered one shirt sample with this I do not recommend it. I would give it a zero out of 10. It just kind of like cheap, the fit isn't good. I don't know, I just, I just thought it was bad. That's why it's the cheapest thing on here. They're kind of crappy. If you're trying to build a brand that you care about, I don't recommend using this. The Bella in Canvas 3413. This is a really good shirt. I've, I have one of these as well. It's super lightweight, super soft. Let's go into the details for this one. You'll notice that it is $16.95. So about $4 more expensive than the 3001. But these are a tri-blend. So what does it say these are? So 50% polyester, 25% cotton, 25% rayon. So that makes it a little more lightweight and softer than the 3001. You can get a similar look and feel with the 3001 using those heather colors. But I think these, these are nice. They're a nice fit. They're lightweight. Um, these are all like the heathered color look, so they have a good color selection here. So these are really nice. They're just a little bit pricier than the 3001, so that's why I rank the 3001 higher. All over cut and sew men's t-shirts. So this is for all over designs. Basically, it's just a design that covers the whole shirt. I've never used this one, so I can't really give you feedback on that. American Apparel. American Apparel is like hit and miss on fit, I think. Um, I have some American Apparel shirts. The quality is really good. Like they hold up really well. I think but the fit isn't as good that's my issue with it so i don't know american apparel i give it like five out of ten gildan i've never used this one i mean i have gildan shirts i just don't think they're that quality anvil 980 lightweight fashion i've never used this but this is i think this is comparable to the bella bella and canvas this is one that i would like to try they do have some heather colors in here so here's the details on the heather colors. I should probably order one and try it um, just to test it out. It seems like this could be a good one. Next level 3600. I've used this shirt quite a bit. I would give it like a 6 out of 10. I think the uh, Bella and Canvas 3100 is much better. I think this one's much better. But these next level shirts, I think they're pretty good. The straight cotton ones, 100% cotton ones, I, I think they lose their fit. The heather gray is better than the other ones, but I think... I got royal blue and it it's just not like it's not like fitted you know so i would say this is a mediocre one fit and like quality is a big deal to me so that's kind of what i base all of these off of american apparel tri blend i have not tried that's pretty pricey so i'd be losing like five dollars compared to the bell and canvas one so i haven't tried that i would imagine it's decent like usually any tri blend shirt is pretty decent the Anvil 9988 I haven't tried, V-neck, no-go, nope, nope, compare, I don't know, Hanes, I have a Hanes shirt right over here, I'll have to do an, un an unpackaging of that one, so stay tuned for that if you're interested, these ones I haven't 
I think they got rid of one that I really liked. You know, they got rid of the Next Level 6200. That's a really nice one. It's like a tri-blend. Kind of sucks they got rid of that one. I think the price point for that one was like 16 or 17 though. So that's what I'm saying. I would recommend these Bella and Canvas ones over anything just because like they're solid, the fits good, they're comfortable, they're lightweight. I'd be curious to try the Anvil and most of these other ones I would just stay away from to be honest. But this is the one to go with if you're unsure. I mean that's why it's number one like when you click on the shirts and everything. They're not alphabetical like this is number one because they think it's the best option as well. So Bella and Canvas 3001. Can't really go wrong with that. Especially with these heather colors. The fit is really good. They're really nice. So that's my story. That's what I'd suggest. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Be sure to drop a comment down below if you have any questions or comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for videos about adventure and creativity. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.